Good morning. I'm Larry Eastep from the Central Illinois Weather Network. I don't want to waste any time here. I want to go straight to the image from uh, National Weather Service Doppler Radar Storm Lab. Digital is showing us uh, a tornado signature here, a uh, storm report of a tornado on the ground this morning uh, in Iron County, Missouri, four miles southeast of Caledonia, moving towards the northeast. Uh, this was reported by law enforcement in the vicinity of the intersection of Missouri's Highway 32 and 21, slightly south of the Washington County line in Iron County, Missouri, at 11.29 a.m., four miles southeast of Caledonia. Now, let's go to... Uh, Let's go over to regular um, uh, storm lab here and show you uh, composite reflectivity and see we're getting the TVS signature there. Uh, you can see that uh, northwest of Farmington. That's actually out of the uh, warning box, the warning polygon. But uh, anyone in uh, the St. Genevieve County area, Randolph County, Illinois, watch out. These storms are moving to the northeast. Here's the text of the warning. I'm going to pull out here just a little bit more and let you see a little bit wider view of this particular cell on Stormlab Digital Doppler. And uh, we'll show you this uh, particular cell. Again, is uh, the cell we've been looking at all morning that was over around Rolla earlier is now wrapping up again and showing signs of producing a, a tornado and actually now a tornado on the ground again. Uh, look at that uh, a little closer there, and you can see the towns affected. Iron County, southeast Missouri, uh, included in this morning. Northern Madison County in southeast Missouri, southeastern Washington County until noon. Law enforcement reported a tornado near Belleville. I'm sorry, Bellevue, that is in Missouri. Bellevue, Missouri. This tornado moving east at 45. Bismarck, Farmington, Pilot Knob, Iron Mountain, Knob Lick, Doe Run, Leadington, Mine Lamont, and Libertyville, all in the path of this storm. Pull out a little bit further, we'll show you lightning all over the place. Lightning just exploding in the last half hour or so with this line of storms. This line of storms is approaching Paducah, Kentucky. Watch out, damaging winds there in excess of 80 miles an hour possible. Numerous trees reported down by the high winds as these storms move through portions of southern Missouri. A tornado warning in effect also for Perry County in southern Illinois. Let's take a look at these storms up to the north along US 51, south of Centralia, all the way down to Carbondale and further south than that. Train weather spotters reported a funnel cloud eight miles southwest of Pickneyville, moving east at 30 miles an hour. This is in Perry County in south central Illinois. Perry County on this map here would be uh, actually right in the center of your screen along US 51 there, the county outlined in red. The other red line you see there is the warm front uh, that is sitting over the area. Let's take a look at this on uh, storm relative velocity. We see a dry slot there and some reds and greens together. Uh, that uh, is indicative of a pretty nasty cell for uh, sure. Amateur radio operators reporting uh, an unconfirmed report of a brief tornado touchdown in this same area at 11.42 a.m. Again, eight miles southeast or southwest rather of Pickneyville, moving east at 30 miles an hour. Pickneyville to Coin to Tamaroa are all in the path of that storm. Uh, looking here uh, to see if we have any additional warnings for you. Let's uh, pull out here again on. Uh, Storm Lab and show you this nasty line of storms uh, moving through southern Illinois now. Uh, it's going to be approaching the I-57 corridor here shortly. I-24 around Paducah is also in the path of this line. And again, we have this tornadic cell behind this on the backside. A little bit uh, better view there of just the width of this line all the way down to Jonesboro, Arkansas, just to the south of St. Louis. And then this cell with tornadoes again uh, over to the, to the west of that, uh, to the east of Rolla. And north of Clarksville, Tennessee, a little line of storms has popped up there, and uh, we were looking at uh, lightning here a moment ago. That has some pretty good lightning with it. Uh, that particular cell will uh, affect the I-65 corridor down around Cave City in the next hour or so. But the big thing, we're watching a tornado on the ground again. Let's go back to that over in Iron County, Missouri. Stay tuned for the latest weather information.